when health systems are overwhelmed, we're not going to have accurate determinations of the cause of death. America's soaring death toll. More than 8,600 people are now confirmed in Canada. The situation is going to get worse before it gets better. I want every American to be prepared for the hard days that lie ahead. New data suggests the true death toll could be over 20% higher. Hello, this is Vivek Goel. I'm Vice President, Research and Innovation and Strategic Initiatives at the University of Toronto and a professor at the Dalalana School of Public Health. This U of T podcast will be giving you ongoing updates on what's next for the pandemic from my perspective. Today, I'm going to talk about why does the death rate from COVID-19 appear to be so different across countries, ranging from 0.1% to 10%. The first thing we learn in epidemiology when we see such dramatically different numbers is to check the data. Testing rates are very different across countries. So those places that are doing fewer tests tend to do them on the people that are the sickest, which leads to higher observed death rates. There can be differences in timing of when data is collected on cases and deaths. The underlying populations can differ dramatically. Some countries have older populations, more people with chronic conditions such as diabetes or lung disease, or more people with risk factors such as smoking. This can lead to higher rates of deaths being reported. It is difficult to determine whether someone has died with coronavirus or of coronavirus. When health systems are overwhelmed, we're not going to have accurate determinations of the cause of death. The key thing to remember is that death rate in people that are healthy is quite low, well below 1%. The risk to most individuals in the population is not very significant. But the risk to the overall population is very high given that there's no pre-existing levels of population immunity. And as a result, if everyone were to get sick at once, our health systems would be overwhelmed. That is what we are seeking to avoid. This is Vivek Goel. In my next podcast, Should You Wear a Mask?